I am dead program. Some people call me Ron, but the important part is I am dead program on the internets. And I am a technologist for hire, very subtle. I have a consultancy called the Hybrid Group, where we create the software that makes your hardware work, at least most of the time. I'm here to talk about TinyGo today, which is a really cool open source project that I've been involved with since the beginning. It's a Go compiler for small places. So it is the full Go programming language, but it's an alternative compiler, which itself is actually written in Go. So a few current stats from the world of TinyGo. 13,000 plus stars, 780 plus forks, 150 plus contributors, 99 different hardware devices, microcontrollers uh, currently supported, and actually 101 different sensors and displays as well recently. So a few highlights from our recent 0.30 release that just came out right in time for this wonderful conference. So uh, TinyGo uses LLVM under the hood, the same comp compiler toolkit that Rust, Zig, uh, Swift, and a few other languages use. So now we support LLVM 16. More reflection support. This is always really important for us to be compatible with all the standard libraries. And yes, kudos to the Go team for the recent merges for WASI support. We've been there for a little while, and uh, welcome to the pool. It's, well, the water's great here. So the question, of course, in the room is not at Big Go supports WASI. Do we even still need Tiny Go? Well, uh, of course, I'm going to answer that question. It's a rhetorical one. So this is a hello world in Go. It uh, does not use any import, so it's just the language itself, and all it does is print line hello world. So using uh, Go 1.21.1, uh, compiling it for the WASI target. It is 1.3 megabytes in size. The same exact program compiled in TinyGo, 81K. Yes, so it's 17 times smaller. But um, I've been uh, accused of that being a somewhat you know, disingenuous example. So let's look at the hello WASI that does a little bit more. Brings in the FUMP package and brings in IOUtil, so it's got reflection and all the goodies. Uh, this is from the WASMBY example.dev website. So when we compile this with Big Go, it is uh, 2.15 megabytes. When we compile with TinyGo, it is 414K. So it's 5.2 times smaller. So yeah, maybe TinyGo has still got a place in this world for very small things. Uh, TinyGo in the wide world, a lot of stuff happening. Um, back to the hardware side for a minute. Our team member and collaborator Takasago-san has done custom TinyGo keyboards and in fact even has a whole workshop that happened at a conference recently in Japan where he is located. Uroot uh, is a project which, similar to BusyBox where it completes a complete user land compiled in Go and they're extensively using TinyGo to compile very small command line tools. Really cool stuff that you thought you could only do in some other languages, but no, Go can do that too. The FPV head tracker from collaborator Yuri Soldak. Uh, Yuri does a lot of first person video on uh, flying vehicles. And so this is actually TinyGo running in the heads up display on this and wait for the roll, wait for the roll. Maybe you think it's not a good idea to fly things that are controlled by TinyGo. Well, let's address that directly. So a team of researchers at the Kanuas University in Lithuania did an academic paper about the performance evaluation of C, C++, MicroPython, Rust, and TinyGo. So here is the quote. The results of this study reveal that though the C and C++ programming language is widely believed to be the most efficient for embedded programming, this is not always the case. In a few cases, it's outperformed by TinyGo and Rust. Moreover, the TinyGo algorithms demonstrated jitter-free execution, making this language more preferable for hard real-time applications. You've heard it from the academics. I'm not one of them, but very cool to hear. Let's go to the, wa the wide, wonderful world of, yeah, applaud, please, applause. The wild, wonderful world of WASI. So lots of happening there. First of all, Fastly, the Compute at Edge Go SDK, uh, they just added big Go support, but they've been running on TinyGo for a while. A couple of the people there are uh, contributors to TinyGo and have done a lot of the work. So kudos and thank you to Fastly for that. Uh, Spin 1.5, an application server from Fermion, just came out. Fermion actually just written about in the uh, uh, Tech Radar report from uh, major research ThoughtWorks, so uh, accepted by the corporate types, apparently. 
Hygris, which is a next generation cloud native gateway being used by Alibaba that's running on Envoy that uses plugins written in TinyGo. Wazero, a uh, really cool WebAssembly runtime written entirely in Go. They're doing cool things with TinyGo, and TinyGo works quite well with that. Timecraft, the latest thing from our friends over at Stealth Rocket, which is written itself on top of uh, Wazero, which is a runtime for applications, where Wazero is our WebAssembly runtime. And of course, this little thing you may have heard of called Kubernetes with the Kube scheduler Wasm extension that um, they're using TinyGo instead of BigGo because they found that recreating an instance per hook costs 45 nanoseconds in TinyGo, but over 4 milliseconds in BigGo. So yeah, we got a little performance as well. Back to the hardware to close this off. Tiny Globo 1 and 2 is a high altitude Pico balloon that I launched myself. The first one in was surprise event at FOSDAM covered by Hackaday. The second one was released in Berlin at GopherCon EU and it traveled all the way from Berlin to nearly Dresden before the battery died or maybe the German Air Force. I'm not sure. I haven't been back since then. Um, the gopher badge, so you've well, probably seen the Go badge. The gopher badge is an actual PCB shaped like a gopher created by Conejo Ninja, the amazing toy maker of the Tiny Go crew. He actually made this helmet for me, the Gopher Brought Prime helmet. And then Tiny Go at GopherCon here. We had the hardware hack session community day. That was really fun. Thank you for everyone who was there. Using Go to track satellites on the sky from Pablo Conseco. Yes, actual satellites. The special when lit pinball machine talk. I'm sorry I missed that. I'm going to watch the video. Freeze, a tiny go powered meeting beauty with a twist. And you are here. So that brings us up to date. Check out tinygo on all the socials and tinygo.org. Thank you.